So trading is a long game. We're not here to get rich quick, have a home run trade that a lot of people were, you know, focused on with options and uh, the crypto markets and trades. I was a victim of that myself. Well, not a victim, but I was guilty of that as myself. Um, I was, and I got burnt out. I, I wanted those home runs, never got them, ended up losing money and I was burnt out. And so how do you, how did I stay motivated to get to where I am today and avoid burnout? Well, if you start to see yourself uh, not motivated, you're tired, um, your performance in trading is decreasing, and really you want to recognize that, be mindful of that, and then take a break. It's okay. You don't have to trade every single day. And even when you're trying to trade every single day, there may not be a setup every single day. So you need to, so you need to be okay with showing up to the market and just something simply does not play out at the time you're at the market, right? Uh, you need work-life balance. So if you're going to wake up super early to trade, you need to go to bed early. You can't stay up late and wake up early because that itself is a recipe for disaster. Then you need to have something you could focus on outside of trading. And I don't mean, some people might get upset about this, but I don't mean like gaming or watching movies or videos because that still ties you to the screen. Maybe you're at your same trading setup so like you're at your computer and that doesn't really give you that refresh environment you know? maybe you can watch netflix in bed whatever but really go outside go for a walk um maybe you live somewhere where you could drive and just kind of walk around downtown or i live by the beach i could go to the beach um we have a dog park in our neighborhood now that just got built so you know i could just immediately hey dogs let's go and you know they're stoked and I get to see them have fun and then talk to other dog owners, meet other dogs. And it's, and then literally it's a five minute walk from my house. Not even, it's like two minutes. Um, so I have that as something I can get away and clear my head. And then I also bike, whether I'm BMX or mountain bike or just cruising the streets. I have that to kind of get away from trading, get out in nature and refresh my mind. So that's, that's the biggest advice I can give you. Have something away from the screen. Uh, and then on top of that, if you're going to still be a homebody or you just don't like going outside for whatever reason, you should really get past that. But if you want to be part of a trading community and have a mentor to guide you past these times. Because if you're all doing this all on your own, there's a lot to worry about, take in consideration. So having someone who's already been there where you were at could easily get past where you're at and understand where you're at and guide you to those next steps that you want be at so that's how you avoid burnout but how are you going to stay motivated that's that's another piece to this puzzle and you want to set small goals and these are small achievable goals so don't say to quit my job i need two thousand a week in profits that's your end goal or that's your mid goal right to get free from your job that's like your mid goal now i could do trading full-time and i'll have my end goal right i want 10 whatever Set small goals. Did I make $100 today? Profit is profit. I was not able to do that before. Now I'm trading and I can make $100, right? Like $100 is no joke. If you can make $100 every day, that's a minimum wage job for the year, right? So another small goal is um, say you make 200 or so dollars a day at your job. So when you trade and make 250 in a day, just be like, I made my daily wage in this one trade in, I don't know, 15 minutes, hour, two hours, whatever. That's a win. Or if you're an hourly worker, say you get paid $20 an hour, whatever, and you can make $20 in a trade in 10 minutes, but takes you an hour to make of actual labor, right? You just used your brain, click some buttons, and made that money in 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Even if it's 59 minutes or the same hour, you're able to match your current position as you are in your job, and that, that's a win. That is success, and that is showing you can transition into a full-time trader. And those are successes you want to celebrate. You know? You went from losing money, maybe you haven't traded yet, but say you have been trading and you're taking losses 
you went from losing to now you're able to get profit. Think about how huge that is. You're, now you're no longer losing money, but you're actually making money. It doesn't matter wh how much money it is. As long as you're making money, even if you make five bucks, you're no longer losing money. You're actually making five bucks, right? So celebrate those. Focus on that. Say, I, I, there's my success. I can do that. And remind yourself, that's why I trade. I'm trading to make profit. I'm trading because I don't want to work on my job. I want freedom. I want time freedom. I want location freedom. Focus on that and motivate yourself. Say, hey, I know you're not feeling it today, but remember, our ultimate goal is we don't want to go back to that. We want to go to this and this, what happened today, although it's not what I exactly want, it's still a step to get to this and it's pushing me away from where that is and I don't want to go back to that. So focus on getting yourself closer and closer and closer to your success and every win 